Look familiar? They all look the same. Well, if we go across the bridge, you know it's the right one. No, this does not look the same. Uh, I don't know. I don't think this is it, but this will eventually go there. This is just one that we haven't done in a while. I think this one goes straight across. One, I don't know if you've ever done this one with me. Yeah, well, that's the whole trail. Starts. It's that. kill my muscles today I just know it I don't think I'm sore it's just the weight I haven't been riding these things on trails this is the heavy wheels that's true yeah but that was a short run that was that front of Rudy's ramble we did like deep woods here it's all blocked in everything's grown up yep heard that don't know what it was but I heard it I think we're heading back to the road unfortunately this wasn't the path this is just another trail with the gear you're wearing at this speed though I'm over geared it's a little warm like we're just winding and winding and winding I wanted a straight trail I picked a bad trail this is the bad section it's all windy we're gonna back up at the road and still got to go find our trail So I guess it is over by uh, Bobcat Trail, that other power line trail to get onto that section of Rudy's that I wanted to do. Well, this is getting nicer. I like this. This looks nice. There you go, some straight runs, not constantly turning. Yeah, let's go out to the road. We just did a loop. All right, next trail. Let's go to the next one. Right, so there's the Bobcat Trail. Hello. 
Okay. Um, I don't remember being this far away. Maybe it is. All right, I might as well cut the video off till we get to the next one. Yeah, I recorded that whole loop, but... So I think that was our trail. We just didn't go back far enough. It's one more in. Oh. So after the bridge, we do the left, and then we cut out on the fire trail. Okay, here's the end of it. All right. Well, we were just on that trail, so I didn't see any disking. All right, so... No, but we took a fire trail to get down to the trail, and then it started and stopped on the fire trail. All right, so this is reverse, reverse Rudy's. Yeah, I already, I already did, I'm on the trail. All right, you're not in front of me, I can't record you. So I'm on the trail, but you gotta get ahead of me. So you need to catch up. It does, and you keep going across and it continues. You've done it before, you don't remember? Okay. Um, I need to find a spot to pull over to let you by. Um, you know what? There's some passing zones up here. So let me uh, go slow, let you catch up, and then you get me on the passing zone. All right, so this is the tree we used to jump and took out. All right, passing zone coming up. I'll go right, you go left. I think if I don't hit a tree. Um, all right, so. All right, I'll go right through the trees, you go left around the trees. All right, go ahead. All right, there we go. Now we're on track. Now I got something to record. Keep up with you, that's the thing. You V11 guys are quick on these trails. Of course, you're quick on the S22 also. Well, that's good. I just don't want the, uh, my problem is the uh, twist and turns. This is this trail I can probably keep up with you on, even on the S22. I think I'm good here. It's those deep turns. I have to be conditioned. Oh, this is a tight turn too. Yep. And a lot of sand. A lot of bumpy roots. I used to pedal clip in the Sherman through here, right on this spot. That was it right there I used to pedal clip on. The old OG Sherman V3. It's funny, I had an OG Sherman V3 and a Bagode Master Pro V3 and the V13. I got something with threes. All right, this won't go too far and we'll be crossing again. Yep, right across the same fire lane. Whoa. Get around these trees. These trees keep jumping out in front of me. Whoa, that was some sand. You didn't have a problem with that? Yeah, that was some goosey sand. I fishtailed it. Yeah, I got some fishtail going. I was kind of loose on the wheel and I gunned it a little bit and it kind of 
fishtail going through the sand. Oh yeah, it's dry. It's just it was deep sand. Yep. Well, thanks for warning me. Yeah. Be careful. Aha! Sand got gotcha. you. I missed that. That's good. Maybe should have gone to the right, high right on that one. You're not. I bet your S22 would do it. You're just on a. You know you're. you're <laughs> hey, Alex. Alex. Oh, Alex. <laughs> You're riding backwards, Alex. That's how I met Alex, riding backwards on a V11. So anybody rides backwards on a V11, they're Alex. He did it several times, so. That just goes to show you can ride either way. It doesn't matter. You just jumped on and went. was but it's okay s22 does the sand better yeah a knobby tire is really gonna cut it yeah so this is what happens when alex bails huh he gets a flat tire and you drag me through the woods I know, I want to do it, just the winter's over. <laughs> I bet it's a loose phase wire on the master. He probably didn't tighten it up good or something, and it's just swiveling. Because he probably moved the wire, getting the back apart, whatever he took apart. Because I just don't see what he's going to cook. I mean, you pull the battery plugs, you pull the hall sensors, and then you take the phase wires off. So, I don't know. Maybe he did something in a different order. No, if you, here's the thing. They're MOSFETs. So, if you pull a phase wire off without disconnecting the battery first, you can cause a misfire. If it's powered, I don't know. I don't know what he did, so it's hard to say. But I would definitely want to disconnect the batteries first and then disconnect the phase wires. Don't do it in any other order. Be like doing it on a VFD, you know. You want to kill the power to the drive before you pull the phase wires. Drain the DC bus down. You don't want any DC bus that can misfire. Doesn't matter if it's IGBTs, MOSFETs, whatever. Well, I did that. I did that for the headlight. I didn't disconnect everything. I just plugged the, back, the headlight back in, but that was a headlight. I don't know what he was doing. Well, he rode it 15 miles fine. Took it back apart, it was doing something. So I don't know what he missed if it was running fine. It must have been screws. It was the only thing I could think of. But then why, what would he have to disconnect it when he killed something? Unless he touched something. I mean, he could have shorted across the phase wires or something or something. I don't know. It's hard to say. We weren't there. No, not really, because it might be a, a, it could be a current thing and not a, um, not an arc. It could still be, you know, they're static sensitive and stuff, so it wouldn't take a whole lot. But now you're taking me through the sand. I'm amazed the V11 does so good in sand. I mean, there's some crazy sharp roots and sand and all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah, I know, you miss your S22. Rev rides, hurry up and get King Song to reactivate you. You locked your wheel. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, I had a, only the way we did it was a rollback on a firmware on Android. That's the only way we could do it. I had Chris take a phone, go back several firmwares, do it on Android, activate my account, and then I signed in on an, uh, iOS. So that's how we did it. Yeah, that's the only way we could do it. Yeah, the app is so outdated that it worked on the old iOSs and not the new or the new, you know, versions. So yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't create an account. Yeah, no account, couldn't do it. And as soon as he did that, boom, good. Came right through, set up the account, and then I just signed in. So. Yeah, get a really old Android and do it. I bet the app works. There you go. No. Oh, the, the iOS or the. Uh... No, you can still download from the Google Play Store. I'm sure the current version still works on the old iOS. It's just your operating system doesn't work on whatever they call the iOS thing. iOS is more a Apple. I don't know what the Android one is. The firmware version. doing drops in here oh, I, I'm fine with the drops I'd rather go down than up but I think your new name is gonna be dusty Yeah, you throw sand on me then. You'd be rooster tailing me. Be pulling a Roger. Evil Roger. That's what they're saying about him now. Everybody's picking on him for deliberately goosing the guy with the sand. He did the little hop reverse thing, shot sand on him. They said he's so evil. That's funny. There's the box with the ants. They used to have ants. Big bull ants in there. That was what? Two years ago? A year ago? I don't know. All right. We are getting into the turns again. What's going on here? There's the straightaway. Yes. Oh, it's an error. To stand up, relax, jump a tree. They take me through narrow trees. Glad I'm out on the Master Pro. That would have sucked in there. Things wider. This is where I saw the deer at the one time. I almost hit him. I ran right into a deer. Yeah, standing right in the trail. I didn't even see him. I came around the corner and almost hit him. I don't think he did hear me. He didn't run. He was deer in the headlight thing. I told uh, Ray if he ever wants to do some another ride, do some trails or do some, uh, oh, ride somewhere, Safety Harbor or something, that I'd uh, try to go with him sometime and try to keep it slower. I think the reason he doesn't ride with us anymore is the speed. But um, yeah, I just think it, it wears him out. So he's on a bike and the bike's trying to keep up with us or it can be a little painful, I get it. I think Nick, Nick had probably thought the same thing. That's why he didn't ride the second day with us. Yeah. There's one wheel. Ah. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying that I didn't know if uh, our style of riding was not conducive to bikes or not. I mean, this part's probably okay going slow, but. Um, oh, he does not like it. I thought he did since he did the one wheel. Oh, he does like the off-road, okay. 
Yeah, so maybe we could. But he, yeah, well, he's also got the one wheel he does off road. Yeah, that he's, uh, he's comparable to us in a way. So he gets in straightaways. If it's turns, he's good. We get in the straightaways, he loses it. But yeah, roots can over, yeah, overwhelm him with the multiple root. Dang, it's closing in here. What's going on? We're getting overgrown. Shoot some pine cones. You went around that. You went around that too. I'm gonna go through it. That went bad. I went right through it. I got a knobby though. I misaligned the knobby because I got all kinds of wear patterns from chop. It's probably helping my traction. Yeah, they're all different angles. Like it's a hop every third, every third uh, rubber spot is angled weird. Like the wheels hopping. But as a unicycle, you don't feel that vibration, but I'm sure it's bouncing based on tire pressure or whatever's going on. Well, at least there's no bikes coming head on with us yet. Yeah, you'd never see them if we were all flying right at each other. It could be a crash. And it'll be on video. That'd be awesome. Our first crash. We've never had one yet. We've never had a bike versus EUC before. Well, we almost did, because I had a near miss. I went off the road for a guy, and he didn't even stop or slow down. But then the next guys, all three of them stopped and pulled over for me. So that was nice. That was my second time on the S22, I think. Gonna kill this phone battery, I can tell you that on this video. It's gonna be long-winded. Switch hands, my thumb's getting sore. Open it up a little bit. I like it. We ain't got to the bridge yet, so we ain't almost done yet. It's weird doing this in reverse. It's been a while since I've done it forward. I think the last time was with you. I think you were on the S22, though. And I think we went the other way. I think Alex went with us too, didn't he? He was on the master. I think I remember that. Yeah, I 360 videoed that, I think. Woo, that was a nice cut. You went right through that root. Yeah, the root was cut open for you. I don't know how you avoided that one. I had to go over it. Yeah, but I'll let him use my V13. I'll just take the Master Pro. We'll stay on the road and uh, have some fun. Not that this isn't fun. This is a lot of fun, but I want to say I feel like he's missing out, but he's happy to miss out on this. He definitely want the Master. He gets into it. He's just, yes. Oh, yeah, straight trails. Yeah. Who doesn't like straight trails on a unicycle? There's no... There's no uh, exercise in that. This, on the other hand, is uh, giving you a workout depending on how heavy your wheel is. I feel into my back. I don't really feel my legs as bad as I thought, but my back is not saying thank you. Dang these turns. I see some of the ones you're hitting, I'm having an easier time with on my suspension. So I see you bounce a little bit, I don't feel like I'm feeling them. 
Oh, I don't get that. No, I don't get any. I don't ever come off. And I don't have any hold downs. Well, I got 400, oh yeah, 200 pounds in each shock right now. So. And uh, I got grease on the suspension. So I think that's, that lithium grease is making this thing slick. I was gonna look it up again. I don't remember, I, I think 200 is what I should be at. No, it's always good, it stays. But I used the 600 pound pump this time, which sets it higher, because the 300 pound pump at 200 PSI really is 180, according to the 600 pound pump. So all this time I was running 20 pounds less. So now I'm probably at a true 200 pounds. So I'm about 40 pounds higher than where I, I was or 20 pounds higher, I guess, I don't know. Oh no, because I was running 180, that was 140 and now I'm 200. Yeah, so I'm 80 pounds, 40 pounds higher than what I was. So that's really good. Oh, why am I falling behind here? This is straight, I can catch you. And then there'll be a hole. This is a challenge holding a phone the whole time. I guess I hold a stick camera, that's no different. And yeah, not really, it's pretty easy actually. It's just, uh, you don't want to drop your phone. I don't feel like we're getting out of this anytime soon. Oh, maybe we're going forever here. There's the one wheel killer right there. Yeah, the three root, they do bounce, 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 and knocks them off the wheel. We just keep on going. I might not record to the end because I'm getting my hands getting tired. I'm sure my battery's about dead, or the video's too long. Who knows? Hopefully, it cuts off before the phone dies and doesn't corrupt the file. Because I did not charge my phone all the way, not even close. All right, where is this bridge at? This is getting ridiculous. We've been going and going. I feel like we're nowhere. And it's looking familiar, which means we're halfway, which is bad. Yeah, I feel like I know this spot. And this is like the one third in the other direction. So we've done like two thirds back the other way. I don't know, maybe I'm further than I think, I don't know. It looks familiar though, just going the other way. That was close to the hole. I saw it. You were right in the edge. You were brimming the, the hole. Some nice ferns and stuff in here. Yeah, I hear someone too. Heads up. Keep talking so they know we're here. I uh, hope so. If we hear them, they better hear us. We're going to be going head on here in a second, unless they're coming up behind us. In which case, I don't think we should slow down, but there's a bridge. We're almost out of here. Yahoo! We made it. All right. 
Oh, that's loose. You just popped a board. Oh, you're, yeah, you're lucky you didn't lose it. That board popped up. I rode over it, pushed it back down. It's not nailed down. Yes, I did. It's on video. You ran it over and the board popped up, and then I ran it over and pushed it back down. You hit kind of to the left side and it bounced up on the right. All right, we're almost out of here. No, I'm thinking they're either coming behind us or they're somewhere else. They might have been behind us and just not keeping up now. Yeah, because it just does the same thing. It'll loop back, you'll see it in a second. Gonna cut back into here. There it is. All right, we're almost out. So a little bit further, hang a left, and uh, out to the main path, and I'm gonna cut this video. If it's still going, that is. Trail ride in Florida. Yeah. Now I'm going to be hungry enough to actually eat something. I don't hear him anymore. <coughs> All right, we're almost out of here for sure now. Can't be that much further. Now, as soon as you hit the fire lane, just hang a left. All right, two more jogs. I think you go right, you go left, and we're out. All right, I think this is it. Hang a left, right here. There you go, we're out of here. Woohoo! Trail succeeded. Now one of us needs to wipe out. Now we'll see if we pass that other trail we thought we were on. Because I bet we just did a circle. So if you see two more trails to your left, that's where we just were. There's one. Yep, and if we see the next one coming up on the left, that's where we were. So we had to go one more up. So next time we do this, there it is, right there. That's where we went in and out, so we did a full circle plus that, and then the road. There you go, all right, we did it. That's everything, woo. All right, we're stopping at this little sit down area here. Yeah. Get off the wheel for a second. I know I was down to 80 something percent driving here at 45, so. Okay, uh, you didn't, you 17 didn't miles, 17 miles, 45 miles an hour, and 76% battery, so there it is.